Whether it be in the sea or on land, some creatures look like they're from a parallel universe. So in this video, you're gonna see a vampire squid, you're also gonna see a goblin shark, and lastly, you'll see an ultra black fish. The Vampire Squid. When you hear the word vampire, you probably imagine a blood-sucking monster. Granted, this is not the case with the vampire squid. Despite his name, though, this creature is neither a squid nor an octopus. In fact, it's a more small cephalopod that's not as ferocious as it sounds. Found in the temperate regions of the ocean in deep sea conditions, the vampire squid is in a league of its own, with scientists even classifying this creature into its own group because of its unique nature. This creature possesses eight arms, massive blue eyes, and two tentacles, and can grow to about 12 inches. This creature's colors varies from jet black to red, so it does have a very terrifying appearance. The vampire squid does not drink blood, and nor does it actually eat that much food. It mainly preys on crustaceans and such. The Snipe Eel If you thought the vampire squid was weird, just wait till you hear about the Snipe Eel. In both shallow and deep waters and temperate and tropical regions, the Snipe Eel is found at depths of 300 to 6,000 feet. It's a blend between a tapeworm and a hummingbird, pretty much not like anything you've really seen. The Snipe Eel's upper and lower jaws are long and curve away from each other at the tips. This means that when the eel closes its mouth, its lips don't mate. While that may sound a little weird, it does help the eel catch its food. These lips are covered with tiny hooked teeth that help it capture tiny shrimp and crustacean. What makes this creature pretty creepy, though, is that it has a digestive system in its throat, and 750 vertebrae in its spine, which is more than any other organism has. Snipe eels are thought to have a lifespan of about 10 years in the wild, and can grow up to about 4 feet in length. The Sarcastic Fringe Head Contrary to its name, this creature is not all that sarcastic. It's located in the Pacific waters off the coast of North America, and though they may not be terribly weird-looking, they're also not attractive creatures either. What makes them terrifying is that these creatures are very aggressive. They look small, but their large mouth and territorial behavior make them very intimidating. Also, they have complicated swimming movements that are short, fast, and dart-like. The sarcastic fringehead possesses a demogorgon-type flap around their face that can grow up to 12 inches. Their bodies are usually longer and slender and are mostly scaleless. In order to feed, the sarcastic fringehead will hide out until their prey is sight, and then it'll launch an attack on them, and since they're not picky eaters, they feed on everything and anything available. Interestingly, there's a video of a sarcastic fringehead feeding on a live octopus. In fact, it was actually swallowing the creature whole. Apart from sea creatures, though, the sarcastic fringe head can also attack humans. While it isn't big enough to swallow a human, it can certainly do some damage. The Deep Sea Blob The Deep Sea Blobfish does live up to its name. Not only does it look like a slab of slime, it's also got a human-like face. Some people say it's the ugliest fish on the planet, and honestly, that's just rude at that point. Though if nothing in this video creeps you, this one certainly will. Located on the shores of the U.S. West Coast, the Deep Sea Blob can be found at a depth of 800 meters. They're naturally pinkish and can grow to about 12 inches long. With how slimy these creatures are, though, you'll wonder if they even have a bone in their body, and, well, they don't. The Deep Sea Blob lacks bone and teeth, and that's pretty much why they earned the name The Blob. These creatures don't move so much due to their low muscles, and they mostly just float along, and when they want to feed, they just open their mouths to suck it in. Funny enough, being a deep-sea creature, it doesn't adjust to regular water and pressure so well. Sort of deforming, if you will. The Deep Sea Lizardfish The Deep Sea Lizardfish is as bizarre as it sounds. Found at depths between 1,000 and 2,500 meters down in the deep, these creatures are 25 centimeters long. They live on the seafloor where they wait patiently for their prey to come to them. True to their name, they have lizard-like bony heads and sharp hinged teeth that help them with their meals. Since they stay on the ocean floor, other small sea animals that swim towards their location are very rare. Once prey is close enough, though, they'll snap at their prey, and if their meal tries to struggle, resist, or escape, the hinged teeth do help to keep them in the creature's mouth and shred them in the process. These creatures are also known to eat other members of their own species, being cannibals themselves. The Red-Lipped Batfish With a name like this, you'd expect a bat-like fish with cute red lips, but I gotta warn ya, this creature is ugly. Known for its pretty red lips, the Red-Lipped Batfish is a creature with unusual morphology. They're found at depths of 3 to 76 centimeters, and the sea animal is often seen in places like the Galapagos Island. 
While they can't swim that well, they use their highly adapted pectoral, pelvic, and anal fins to walk on the ocean floor, and yes, I said walk. This creature, when it's mature, uses a horn and snout to help with its feeding. It has about 90 to 20 vertebrae and reaches a length of up to 40 centimeters. Luckily, as long as you're not a tiny fish or invertebrate, the red-lipped batfish is pretty much harmless. Regardless, this unusual species looks like it came from a parallel universe. The Barrel Eye Fish Unlike others in this video, the Barrel Eye Fish is quite peculiar. This animal is pretty much from an alternate world because of its looks. It literally has a glowing transparent head and visible eyes, which means you can see through its head. When you take a look at this creature's head, you're gonna see what looks like a brain. But in reality, it's not. It's actually the eyes of the barrel fish. These eyes can swivel upwards to detect light and also prey above them, so that way they're ready to attack. It's also capable of moving its eyes forward or towards a different direction. The barrel eye fish is extremely elongated and slender, and also has a small and terminal toothless mouth that ends in a snout. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This fish is black, like dark black. The Ultra Black Fish You all know that there are different colors of fishes in the sea, but you ever thought of an ultra black fish? This one creature is found in the deepest areas of the Atlantic. There's a couple of other ultra black fish that are so dark that they become almost invisible, and there's about 16 species of this creature that are dark enough to go undetected in the water. This skin does have a use though, as it makes them impossible to detect by either prey or predator. Their skin is so unique that they actually absorb 99.95% of all photons in the water. These photons make them so dark that even with a harsh spotlight, you're not going to be able to capture anything that useful. Basically, trying to capture proof of this fish is really, really difficult. It doesn't matter how well you set the camera or lighting, these creatures are going to suck up all the light and become invisible again. This profound feature makes preying easy for them, as they can easily sneak up on their prey without being noticed. The Goblin Shark Named just because it looks kind of like a goblin or some mythical creature, the Goblin Shark is a pretty terrifying thing to come across. Swimming in the deepest parts of the sea for hundreds of millions of years, this creature is known for its long snout which looks like an antenna, a feature that makes it capable of sensing electric fields. This allows it to track prey from miles around. While this species is not a man-eater, thankfully, their fang-like teeth are pretty sharp and can cause severe damage to a human if they get too close. And also, they're not that tiny either, growing to about 12 feet long and weighing about 406 pounds. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. The Brittle Star Known for crawling across the sea floor, the Brittle Star uses its flexible arms for locomotion. The name Brittle Star stems from this creature's delicate, spindly limbs. As a member of a group called the Ophoriids, a species closely related to starfish, the Brittle Star has five long, slender, whip-like arms capable of reaching 60 centimeters. There's over 2,000 species of Brittle Stars in existence, and over 1,200 of those species are found in deep waters, greater than 200 meters deep, actually. As you may know already, though, this creature uses its flexible arms to move, and although its movements aren't that rapid, it moves regardless. Brittle stars have been caught having snake-like movements, or just kind of walking like a regular person would. And much like other sea animals, it feeds on plankton, small mollusks, and even fish. Its feeding habits are a bit more unusual, though. It has its meal by raising its arms when the fish gets close enough, and then it wraps them in a spiral and eats them. See you all in the next episode!